gonna show you how great I am. Great I am. Great I am. This kid's gonna be somebody better than anybody ever knew. I'm gonna show you how great I am. We are so incredibly proud of your accomplishments and hard work this year. You've achieved a great milestone and we can't wait to see where your life will take you. Wishing you much success in the future. Congratulations, class of 2021. Woo! Best wishes to the VUJ class of 2021. Congratulations, Vincennes University class of 2021. May your graduation just be the beginning. Take the grit, determination, and that awesome ability to adapt out into the world and do great things. Congrats. Congratulations, Vincennes University class of 2021. You've made it. Not only have you learned valuable skills and knowledge in your program major of study, but you have also learned other valuable skills that will serve you for the rest of your life. You have learned new processes and technologies, you have persevered, you have problem solved, and you have developed grit. So celebrate this milestone in your life with the confidence and the knowledge and skills that you have learned and the humility of knowing that this is one leg of your lifetime journey. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of our hardworking graduates. We're so proud of your dedication and perseverance. Congratulations from the Family and Consumer Science Department. Best wishes for your future success. Hello from the Jasper campus and congratulations to our 2021 Vincent University graduates. Your grit and determination inspires us all to live out the university motto, learn in order to serve. Welcome to the Trailblazer alumni family. Congratulations graduates. We're so proud of what you've accomplished here at VU Jasper. Can't wait to see what, you, what amazing things you'll do. I'm sure we'll be so proud. Congratulations from the ACE team. We are so proud of all of you. We can't wait to hear about all the great things you will do. Stay in touch. Congrats, grads, you did it. I am so proud of you and all of the hard work that you put in. You've definitely made your impact here at BU and it's now time for you to go out and make an impact on the world. Um, we wish you the best, and we can't wait to see what all you accomplish. Um, best of luck, and congratulations. You say it's your grad day. You say it's, it's your grad, grad day. day. Happy, happy grad day. Happy, happy, happy grad day. day. You say it's your grad day. You say it's, it's your grad day. day. Happy grad day to you. Happy grad day to you. Na 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 Congratulations, Trailblazers. We are so proud of you. We want to give a special shout out to all of the education majors. Go out and be awesome. Congratulations. I wanna fly, can you take me far? It is my sincere honor to welcome you on behalf of the Board of Trustees, the administration, the deans, the faculty, and the staff of Vincennes University, many of whom you have just heard offering their best wishes and praises to this graduating class. I welcome you, your family and friends, and the many special guests joining us today as we convene Vincennes University's 220th Spring Commencement Ceremony. My name is Dr. Laura Trainer and I am the Provost and Vice President of Instructional Services and Dean of Faculty at VU. We convene this ceremony today to award degrees to the graduating class of 2021. I am honored to stand before you on this very special occasion at Vincennes University. We congratulate both our students and their families on this very important day, and we look forward to your continued achievement and successes. Vincennes University is proud to serve students throughout the state of Indiana, across the nation, and internationally.
Today, 1,850 degrees are being awarded. They represent 86 of the 92 Indiana counties, 24 states, and eight countries. We celebrate the diversity of those we serve, and we offer each of the members of the class of 2021 our sincere congratulations on their academic success at Vincennes University. This has not been an easy couple of years. The VU students graduating today have shown tremendous resolve and persistence. Course and class experiences have looked a good deal different, but these students persevered and pursued their goal of graduating while navigating each and every obstacle that arose. Along the way, they developed grit and determination, two key attributes that will serve them well in their future. As Dean of Faculty, I'd also like to take a moment to recognize the dedication, support, and flexibility that the VU faculty and staff provided to this graduating class. The support, encouragement, motivation, and direction of faculty and staff have had a profound impact on this class, and for that, we are grateful. I now ask that we pause to honor this great country with the singing of the national anthem sung by VU alum, Will Aiken. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Cynthia Sanders, Department Chairperson for the American Sign Language and Deaf Studies Program, as she brings the welcome to graduating class of 2021 and their families. Welcome to the Vincennes University Commencement Ceremony for the American Sign Language and Deaf Studies Program in Indianapolis. I congratulate the students of the class of 2021 on the completion of their associate's degree. Many thanks to the families, friends, and loved ones who provided our students with unconditional love and constant support in reaching one of their lifetime milestones, graduation. We are proud of all of our graduating students. I want to take this time to honor all of the graduates in the class of 2021. Six of these students have achieved high academic honors and will be recognized later in the ceremony by Provost Dr. Laura Trainer. I also would like to take this time to present the American Sign Language Honor Society Award to nine students from the class of 2021. These awardees have studied American Sign Language for at least two years, received an overall grade point average of 3.5 in his or her ASL coursework, and an overall grade average of 3.0 in all other subjects. They all will receive an Alice Cogswell Medal and Certificate. 
they are Kenzie Black, Magdalene Flores, Lori Gilder, Jamie Hadley, Victoria Jackson, Chloe Lockhart, Olivia Oshner, Ashley Robinson, and Alexis Ross. Congratulations to those students who have received academic honors and the American Sign Language Honor Society Award. Congratulations to all students of the class of 2021. We wish you the best in your lifetime journey. Congratulations. Thank you. It is now my privilege to introduce Vincennes University's 22nd president, Dr. Charles R. Johnson. Greetings to everyone who is watching today's celebration. I welcome you to what we all hope will be our last all virtual commencement. Today, we honor and recognize the accomplishments of our 2021 graduates. On this day, you who persevered through the most challenging 14 months most of us have had to endure should be especially proud but I doubt you got to this milestone completely on your own. Please join me in taking time to thank your family and friends, VU faculty and staff, and others who helped you on this journey. There are many things I'd like to say to you at this moment when we celebrate your accomplishments, but I will focus on just three. First, I have found that gratitude is the key to happiness. Life is not always fair, to be sure. But in this world of hyper-social media, celebrity worship, and fleeting fads and fancies, it is easy to look at your own life and wonder why it isn't as good as others seem to be. Yet, there is a problem with your comparison. What you see is others' outside world. You don't see what's inside their hearts and minds, their worries and pain. Comparing your inside world to others' outside world is a recipe for dissatisfaction with your own life and growing evidence suggests a link between social media use and depression. Rather than getting caught up in the shallow views of others' lives and wondering how you measure up, I urge you to focus on becoming a better version of yourself. The only real competition in this world is the competition to be more tomorrow than you are today. You can accomplish that by first knowing yourself and then striving to improve through education, kindness, and generosity. Embrace learning. Look for ways to grow. That can be through formal education and training that you undertake beyond VU, or it can be as simple as reading, exploring, and observing the world and people around you. Second, the most important investment we as a society can make is an investment in future generations. The reality is that from this point on, the world will be different than it is today. How it is different is up to all of us, and the Vincennes University motto learn in order to serve is perhaps more relevant today than it has ever been in the nearly 220 years of the university's existence. Use your Vincennes University education to make your community a better place. Volunteer your time in service of important causes and other efforts that will enhance our world. Please consider helping future generations of trailblazers by volunteering your time, hiring VU graduates as interns or employees, and supporting scholarships for VU students who one day hope to be graduates just like you. Looking back on our lives, the question we will all need to ask ourselves is, did I do enough to help others? Third, our country and our world have become deeply divided in many areas, but one thing still unites us all. We are all still human. We are all still striving for what we think is best for ourselves, our families, our communities, and that doesn't mean we agree on what is always best or how to achieve what is best. But people we disagree with aren't our enemies. They are our fellow passengers on this journey. The world of TikTok and GIFs and memes makes it easy for us to reside in our own echo chambers, hearing only those things we want to hear or speaking only with those who won't challenge our thinking. As a result, we become more connected and unified with people who think and speak only like us. There is comfort in that, but it is an ephemeral and false comfort. 
The only way we grow is by engaging with people who hold different perspectives, opinions, and positions. Whether through reading or discussion boards or good old-fashioned discussion. Engaging, I suggest three ground rules. One, show patience. Give the writer or speaker time to say their piece before you jump to conclusions. That can be difficult when we hear or read things that we don't agree with. But doing so will ensure the best chance to hear the fullness of their perspective or position. Two, seek to understand the other person. This is not the same as seeking agreement. It is an attempt to look at things through their eyes. Ask yourself, why do they think this way? Ask them, what led them to hold this position? Doing so may help you to better understand how they can come to views that differ from your own. And three, show grace. Another word for grace is kindness. It is essential to keeping our emotions in check when our views are being challenged. Giving you the time and ability to maintain rationality and calm. This past year has been a test for all of us. And it might be tempting for me to wish you a future without struggles and challenges. But instead, I wish you a future of struggles and challenges that you can overcome while getting stronger and better prepared for what comes next. In his book, The Lives of Tao, author Wesley Shu writes, Look to your right. It is the path back home. If you choose, you can take it. It is safe. It's easy and comfortable. You do not have to work out or fight or do anything else you do not want to do. Or you can keep moving forward. I will not lie to you. I cannot predict what will become of you. It will require a lot of training, hard work, study, and danger. But in the very end, you will know strength. I swear it. You might just become someone who will make a difference in the world. I have only one more thing to say to you, graduates. Great job and congratulations. You've done it. I am honored to present to you our special guests who will share with you how Vincennes University has made a difference in their lives. It is now my honor to introduce to you Kenzie Black. Kenzie is from Oblong, Illinois. At a very young age, Kenzie had a creative passion. She loves art and music and found her calling in helping children. Through American Sign Language, Kenzie hopes to continue working with others to help them achieve their potential. During high school, she was a member of the art club, choir, and the National Honor Society. Kenzie has been involved in the ASL club while at Vincennes University. Kenzie is this year's American Sign Language and Deaf Studies valedictorian. Class of 2021, I present to you your classmate and peer, Kenzie Black. Hello, everyone. It's an honor to be here today representing the Vincennes University ASL and Deaf Studies program graduating class of 2021. Congratulations, everyone. Two years later, we did it. Our education did look different than in previous years. Even our graduation is quite different than we expected. However, we are grateful for this experience, as well as the opportunities we have been given. These past two years have been eventful, to say the least. I remember being scared and nervous the first time I was on campus when we were at the Indiana School for the Deaf, ISD. My parents and I visited campus for a tour in May of 2019. This is where we met our future teachers, Bonnie and Janet. While I did not have Dr. Sanders for a teacher, I do remember the first time I met her. I was so flustered that I could not even finish fingerspelling her name when introducing myself. I got to K-E-N and completely froze. Dr. Sanders was understanding, which helped me relax. One of the biggest lessons I have learned while attending this program is that mistakes happen, and one will move on from these mistakes. I'm sure my fellow peers would agree with this assessment. Mistakes are not to be looked upon as a failure, but as an opportunity for success. 
Janet and Bonnie have both constantly told us to get out of our com comfort zones. We can do this by reaching out to others who are deaf, hard of hearing, interpreters, fellow signers, etc. to simply get out there and meet new people, learn more, and practice our ASL skills. This has led us as students and people to grow, which in turn has led us to finding ourselves. College is a big step. It can be frightening, just like anything new. The staff and professors here have tried their best to provide the resources if we needed help with homework someone to talk with, or someone to sign with. We have professors who genuinely care about our success. Patience and kindness are key to succeeding with anything, including life. These are the lessons we will take with us and remember forever. For this, I am grateful. To my fellow peers and my ASL family, a big thank you for being on this journey with me every step of the way. As we go our separate ways, I wish you all success and joy. Thank you. Thank you. It is truly outstanding that many of our students from all sites will be recognized today for achieving academic honors. Participating honorees whose names will be highlighted across the screen represent those who have achieved our most outstanding academic accomplishments. There are three honors that can be bestowed upon graduates and those honors are designated on their diplomas. The first honor is cum laude, which means honor or with praise. Cum laude honors have maintained a grade point average of 3.5 to 3.69. The second honor is magna cum laude, which means with great praise. This honor is awarded to students who maintain a 3.70 to 3.89 GPA. Participating graduates being honored for magna cum laude distinction are The third honor is summa cum laude, which means with highest distinction or with highest praise. Students earning this honor have maintained a GPA between 3.90 to 4.0. This is the highest honor bestowed upon a graduate. Participating graduates being honored for summa cum laude distinction are Then 
Vincennes University has six students participating today who have achieved a perfect 4.0 GPA. These students are Elizabeth Joy Combs, Cheryl E. Foss, Jonah William Kunkler, Brandy Marie Murbarger, Zachary Michael Ubalor, and Olga Vazovic. The faculty, staff, and administration of Vincennes University extend our best wishes and congratulations to all of the honor graduates. At this time, as provost and dean of faculty, it is my honor to present the class of 2021 to our president, Dr. Charles Johnson. It is my privilege to certify that these candidates have met the necessary qualifications for the conferring of the various degrees. The faculty have prepared the students to meet the requirements of the university and join me in recommending that the appropriate degrees be conferred. President Johnson, I present to you the candidates for graduation. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer on you your degree with all the honors, privileges, and responsibilities thereto belonging. You may turn your tassel. Congratulations to all members of the Vincennes University graduating class of 2021. At this time, individual commencement slides will be shown for each participating graduate. We hope that you will enjoy this presentation. Kinsey Nicole Black, Associate of Arts, American Sign Language and Deaf Studies, Summa Cum Laude, American Sign Language Honor Society. Magdalene Dawn Flores, Associate of Arts, American Sign Language and Deaf Studies, American Sign Language Honor Society. Victoria M. Goodrich, Associate of Arts, American Sign Language and Deaf Studies. Lori Ann Gilder, Associate of Arts, American Sign Language and Deaf Studies. Magna Cum Laude, American Sign Language Honor Society. Jamie Lorraine Hadley, Associate of Arts, American Sign Language and Deaf Studies, American Sign Language Honor Society. Victoria S. Jackson, Associate of Arts, American Sign Language and Deaf Studies, Summa Cum Laude, American Sign Language Honor Society. Chloe R. Lockhart, Associate of Arts, American Sign Language and Deaf Studies, Cum Laude, American Sign Language Honor Society. Lauren. R. Miller, Associate of Arts, American Sign Language and Deaf Studies. Olivia Lauren Oxner, Associate of Arts, American Sign Language and Deaf Studies, American Sign Language Honor Society. Jonathan David Bender, Associate of Arts, American Sign Language and Deaf Studies. Yesenia Isamar Ritana, Associate of Arts, American Sign Language and Deaf Studies. Ashley S. Robinson, Associate of Arts, American Sign Language and Deaf Studies. Cum Laude, American Sign Language Honor Society. Alexius Leanne Ross, Associate of Arts, American Sign Language and Deaf Studies. Magna Cum Laude, American Sign Language Honor Society. It is now my pleasure to introduce Christy Dietz, the Executive Director of the VU Foundation and Senior Director of Institutional Advancement, who brings alumni greetings to the graduating class of 2021. On behalf of the Vincennes University Foundation and Alumni Association, congratulations. It is our honor to welcome you to a network of over 125,000 active members who blaze these trails before you. As your journey continues, you will find fellow alumni on your path as neighbors, colleagues, and mentors. Blazers helping Blazers. It is a value instilled in us. It is what we do. You have met the challenges of the past year, and we are all looking ahead. But right now, for a few hours, pause your focus on the future and truly take in today's celebration. Celebrate your success. Celebrate the people who supported you along the way, and celebrate the lifelong friendships you have created. 
It is our privilege to share this moment with you, and we look forward to celebrating more of life's moments and milestones for many years to come. So, we ask you to stay connected. Be engaged with the Alumni Association through your time, your talent, and your resources. Remind others that you are a trailblazer by displaying your VU diploma, including the distinction of being a VU graduate on your bios and sites. Refer a future trailblazer to follow in your footsteps. And perhaps most important, share your VU story. And as for the next chapter of that story, we expect great things from our newest alumni. Congratulations again, and thank you. As we close this year's spring commencement ceremony, we once again applaud your accomplishments. We are thankful for your family and friends who have assisted you to this point. We applaud the VU faculty and staff for their role in your achievement. You have shown true trailblazer spirit and grit. You have blazed a new trail. You have shown that you are resilient, remarkable, adaptable, creative, innovative, and courageous. Class of 2021, you have the ability to meet head on whatever lies ahead. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, I now call for the recessional. <laughs>